Greetings friends, this is Survival Doc. Today I'm going to talk to you about my favorite herb. What's my favorite herb? Right here, stevia. Why is stevia my favorite herb? Because stevia is a sugar substitute, but it's a natural sugar substitute. Uh, sugar has many, many, many health problems. Most people have some idea of the dangers of eating sugar, but they don't really realize what extent. Sugar is the big killer. I, th I believe that sugar is the biggest killer of Americans. It is the number one cause of cancer, and of course it's the number one cause of blood sugar problems, diabetes, uh, but they, it's uh, high cholesterol, heart problems, it's, it's inflammatory. Um, not much is worse than sugar. One thing that is worse is corn sweetener. It's even worse than sugar. Um, and sugar substitutes like aspartame are no answer. They have they cause tumors, cancers. Um, most of the dangers of these sugar substitutes have been hidden from the public because they are big makers for Monsanto and the companies that make these sugar substitutes. Stevia is an herb. It is actually sweeter than sugar. You can use it uh, anytime you want to sweeten something. You can. Uh, uh, I use the dried herb. I grow the herb myself in my garden. Um, I dry them and I, I use it year round um, as a sweetener. Uh, it just adds a lot to your life without adding sugar to your life. Here's one of my stevia pots here. This one I'm growing in a tar here. I have more stevia over here in my garden. Here's another stevia plant that I've got growing here in my garden. Now, what you want to do when you grow stevia is you want to cut it back. For instance, right here, you can see where I cut it. Let me put it on macro. You can see where I cut it. Whenever you cut it, I cut it right there. Whenever you cut it, it grows two more branches out here. And you just keep cutting it back and cutting it back. And the more you cut it back, the thicker it gets. So if you want a, an abundance of stevia, you need to cut it back to grow it thicker. Right here, a good example, a good place to cut it. You can see how you have these two little branches coming off here. What you do is you cut this main branch right here and let these two grow out like here. You can see where I cut it here. But you want to cut it, keep cutting it, grow it thicker and thicker and thicker. Then what I do is I collect these leaves. I dry them in my food dehydrator. You can dry them in the sun. You can take the plant, hang the uh, plant upside down, let it dry in the sun. You can actually cut this thing all the way back here and it'll grow back out from the stem. <clears throat> Matter of fact, um, at the end of the uh, garden season when it uh, begins to freeze, I'll, take, I'll even take this thing out, plant it in a pot, and um, keep it inside. Then come back out of here and plant this again. Steve is easy to grow. It is, sl it is a slow grower, but it is easy to grow. Never had any problems with any kind of diseases with my stevia. I bought one stevia plant years ago and um, I've kept propagating it ever since. For years I've been propagating it, keeping it inside during the winter time, bringing it outside in the summer, collecting lily leaves, drying them, and having a year supply of sweetener. Stevia, Survival Doc's favorite herb. 
This is how I propagate my stevia plants. I just take cuttings and uh, stick them in a little bottle of water and wait for them to root. And uh, not all of them will root. Um, it takes a while. Uh, they are slow. Here you can see this one's beginning to root. This has been uh, probably a couple of weeks, really, since I put that in water. This is ready to transplant right here. I can transplant this into the soil, or I can transplant this into a pot to grow inside. Um, I grow them inside during the winter time. And then um, in the summer, I'll move them outside of my garden. See, here's a place a couple of leaves are coming out there. It's a good place to trim it because what happens is you cut, you have one stem, you cut it, and then you have two stems. And you cut each one of those, you have four stems. And that's the way you propagate or you make your plant thick so it has lots of uh, herb. This plant has been neglected here a little bit and it actually could be a lot bigger, bushier plant if I had been keeping this up like I should have, but it's okay, we still, I did, I have been trimming some back. See right here, see I trimmed right here last time, and then this is all grown back from that. So that's the way you increase your, um, increase your foliage, and when you're growing herbs, that's what it's all about, unless you're growing it for the um, flowers, but sometimes you are. But as you, usually in a plant like this, certainly, you want to get all the foliage you can. Guess I'll just go right there. That's just one to come out there. This. And stay on there. So let this get big and bushy. And then here's the uh, stevia that I harvested. I dried this just like this. The flowers are good. That'll add a little extra to the uh, herb. I dehydrate my stevia in my food dehydrator. You can also just put them out in the sun to dry. I found the easiest way to do it is to just go ahead and dry them on the stem and then once they are dry it's easy to just pull the uh, dried leaves from the stem and throw the stems away. Hello lamp post, what you knowin'? I've come to watch your flowers growin'. Ain't you got no rhymes for me? Kicking along and feeling groovy. Feeling groovy. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Feeling groovy. I wish I knew all the words to that song. I used to. I need to look it up and learn them because that is such a groovy song. It just picks your spirits right up. Or mine whenever I sing it. Feeling groovy. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Feeling groovy. Hello lamp post, what you know? I come to watch your flowers growing. I ain't you got no rhymes for me. Kicking along and feeling groovy. Feeling groovy. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Feeling groovy. Nope, that's not catnip. That is stevia. See, we start this low, start it off low, and gradually turn it up as it begins to dry. That's not uh, critical, critical for leaves, uh, but for uh, vegetables and fruits. If you dry something too fast, it can dry kind of a skin on it, even though it may be peeled and sliced and whatnot, but uh, if you dry the outside too fast and it kind of seals it in kind of like a skin would and makes it harder to dry the inside. Uh, 
Not impossible, but just harder. It may take a little longer, a little more heat. But anyway, like I said, that's not that critical for leaves. You can go ahead and turn up the heat. But I like to um, start low and two and, a, two and a half here, gradually increase it as they're drying. And you always have to remember to open the lid a little bit, leave a little crack in the back for air to escape for warm air because the heating elements down here is a screen down here. It pulls air in here. The air flows through the food and out the top. Uh, heated, the heating unit is right down here. All right, so that's what creates the circulation of the air is the rising warm air. So you want to make sure you leave a vent in the back uh, and that allows the warm air, which carries the moisture, uh, allows it, the moisture to escape. This is Survival Doc, reminding you, be prepared or be prepared to be fleeced.